Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Mojo Grip Mike here. So we're still at Just Aircraft and I have another Just Aircraft model for you. Uh, this is another Stoll airplane behind me. Uh, my earlier video, I reviewed the Super Stoll Excel. Okay, so here at Just Aircraft, it is a kit airplane manufacturer and they basically build Bush airplanes. So you can call them Bush airplanes, you can call them Stoll airplane. The one you see right behind me is the standard Super Stoll. All right, so we're gonna go around it, share some stats with you, hope you guys like it. Okay, here we are. I mean, the first impression of this is, I love the color combination on it. I can't tell if that's an orange or red. It depends on who's looking at it. It looks more reddish to me. All right, so it's in orange, black, and silver. Or maybe light gray would be the, the right color for that. But just like the Super Stoll XL that I reviewed in my last video, or two videos ago, depending on when this uploads, it's basically the same body frame or similar body frame and you can see the giant wheels on these and the struts also now these airplanes are built rugged in the sense that they're built to land literally in your yard this is a yard this is that the runway you can take off with this airplane in the space i'm showing you right now you can all right and then they have a, a longer runway down that hill okay but let's go around it so it's a three blade prop and being that this airplane is experimental, you can always, you know, change out your engine uh, that you want to put in there, depending on what your mission is or how much fun you want to have, <laughs> okay? So like the big brother, the Super Stoll, again, this is the standard model. The materials are mainly metal, all right? The main construction of the frame here, if you were to take this, uh, take this off, the main, airframe which is inside is metal and you can see all of that also holding the wing and then you have this uh material here which is like fabric or nylon and that covers your body frame for you i actually think it's even neat if it was naked okay and then going around here you've got your elevators rudders now something you should notice again Compared to standard airplanes, you may see that these these are pretty wide, okay? And same thing on those wings. If you look at the wings on this airplane, it is quite wide. Actually, let me, let me show you from the side. And it's not just wide. You see what's attached to the wings? These are slats, okay, which I showed you earlier. And what these does in a, in a slow flight situation, these help keep the airplane more balanced and same thing with these also just again not to get too technical here look at the construction of the wing all right look at that and if you come to the flaps here see the flaps so you've got thick flaps thick wings all thickums <laughs> you know this and this is what allows the airplane to be able to take off in a short distance and land in a short distance and be able to fly really slow. As you see here, it is a tail wheel. So you've got your tail wheel there, two giant front wheel there. To open the doors to these are pretty easy, okay? See this uh, handle here, you pretty much turn it and the door opens. And same thing when you get inside, you, you just turn that handle and it's in there. Now, let's look at this delicious interior. Let me get in. So this is even much neater and nicer than, than the Super Stoll XL we saw before. You see all that space back there. Uh, I assume that this, uh, this aircraft or this airframe also has the same amount of useful load, which is about 700, 600, 700 pounds. You've got your standard stick, your rudder pedals are there. Now, I, if you recall, I said so with these rudder pedals, you do have toe brakes on them. And I love this dash here. Okay, you've got your flight instruments on here. I'm not sure what uh, panel this is. It almost looks like a, like a tablet. 
like it, but it looks neat. Now, this may be a light sport, or be uh, this this airplane may be in the light sport category. You see, all you have here is the throttle. Okay, all you have here is a throttle, so no mixture, no prop lever. Uh, so this is likely a light sport. But it says, actually, let's read right here. It says this aircraft is an experimental light sport aircraft and does not comply with the federal safety regulations for standard aircraft. So experimental light sport. Now, the thing about light sport and experimental, uh, with light sport, you have limitations in terms of gross weight. Uh, so I'm sure that that would also be relative to this air, airplane. But again, you're only sitting two people. Okay, I don't assume that you're going to be carrying a ton of load in this airplane. But everything, I mean, it's just, this is a nice, nicely built uh, airplane. I'm not sure what the power plant is in this, but it's likely a Rotax 100 horsepower in there. Now, guys, I'm going to leave proper specs for this airplane in the description so forgive me if i'm not talking about them on on the uh, on the video because i don't have all of them all right so check the description for the proper stats and also i'll leave a link to just aircraft so you can get you know price and details and whatnot one of the things that you would actually love about these airplanes is that they are for the average joe you don't need two hundred thousand dollars or even a hundred thousand dollars to build one of these i believe the kits starts at twenty four twenty five thousand dollars or so to have you build this thing out and then obviously you got to spend on whatever engine that you decide to use and again being that it is experimental you will have plenty plenty of choices uh, in terms of power plant. All right. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Thank you so much for watching again My name is Mike Hit that thumbs up button for me if you did enjoy and make sure you subscribe and I will catch you on the next video